Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding movie rating and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in SAP interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called movies with two different columns, movie ID and title, movie ID being the primary key for this table, title is the name of the movie. There is also a second table called users with two different columns again, user ID and name, user ID being the primary key for this table. There is a third table called movie rating with four different columns, movie ID, user ID, so basically these are the foreign keys to the users table and the movies table rating and created id the combined columns in movie id and user id is the primary key for this table it contains rating of a movie via user in their review created at is the users review date okay we are asked to write a sql query to find the name of the user who has rated the greatest number of movies and in case of a tie return the lexicographically smaller user name right Find the movie name with the highest average rating in February of 2020 and again if there is a tie, return the lexicographically smaller movie name. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have three different movies, Avengers, Frozen 2 and Joker. Then there are four different people and these are their movie ratings. We need to see like out of all these four people who has rated the most amount of movies and in case there is a tie, lexicographically smaller name it means that whatever comes in the dictionary first right similarly for this so let's see so for example if you see for user id 1 right so user id 1 has 1 2 and 3 rows right so rated 3 movies similarly user id 2 1 2 3 so 3 different movies right so 1 and 2 have rated 3 movies each 3 has rated 1 and 2, 2 movies and 4 has rated only 1. So obviously out of user ID 1 and 2, which are Daniel and Monica, like which will come earlier in the dictionary, Daniel, right? So it should be in the output. Secondly, it says the highest average rating in February of 2020. So these three different movies, right? Movie ID 1, 2 and 3. So for February of 2020, right? So for February of 2020 for movie ID 1, these are the two rows right and the rating is 4 and 6 4 and 2 so 4 plus 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 for movie id 2 right february of 2020 again this 5 and 2 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half so obviously 3 and a half is greater than 3 so 2 is going to be in the output but let's also see for 3 for 3 these two rows are going to be there so 4 plus 3 7 divided by 2 3 and a half so 2 and 3 both have an average rating of 3 and a half in february of 2020 now 2 and 3 which movies are there so frozen 2 and joker obviously frozen 2 is going to come in the dictionary first right so daniel and frozen 2 should be in the output and let's see okay so this is in the output as well so right so here to de start developing this query, since the information is in three different tables, the first thing that we should do is merge all this information under one, right? So what we can do is we can merge the movie rating table with the users table using user ID from this table and user ID from the moving rating table and also perform a join using this and the movies table using the movie ID column. So let's start developing this query. So from this table, called movie rating let's alias it as mr left to join the users table aliased as u on mr dot user id is equal to u dot user id and we can also since this table also has movie id we can here only perform another left join with the movies table right so again left to join movies table right so movies aliased as m on mr dot movie id is equal to m dot movie id right and let's keep only certain rows obviously like let's keep all these four rows and then the name of the user and the title right because 
keeping movie ids and user ids from these table it is just repetition because the movie rating table already has that right so let's return all the columns from the movie rating table so how we can write that instead of you know mentioning all the four different columns separately right what we can do we can simply write mr dot asterisk right so it means all the columns from the movie rating table and then from the users table just keep u dot name so that is the name of the user and from the movies table just keep the title right the title of the movie so let me go ahead and run this and see like what this is going to return okay so here if you see you have the movie id user id rating created at name title right so you have that you have these four columns and then the name and the title of the movie so for example for this right movie id user id rating created on the user's name is daniel and the movie rated is avengers similarly for all others right so what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with ct as and let's put this entire thing in parentheses now what we need to do so here if you see in the output these two values even though they are in the same column they are you know coming in two different ways so you have to use a union in this case so let's start with finding firstly you know because here if you see in the question you need to find the name of the user and then the second row is the name of the movie right so let's first from this common table expression try to find out the name of the user who has rated the greatest number of movies right so what we can do is from this common table expression let's group by the name right the name of the user so for each of the person like if we can count the number of rows associated and the number of rows associated is basically the number of movies rated right because if you see in this right after you perform the join and you have those names and title and you group by it if you basically group by name and count the number of rows like for example for user id 1 user id 1 is daniel right so for daniel if you just count the number of rows 1 2 three and the person has rated three different movies right so that is what i mean so group by the name then return the name right and then what you need to do is you need to return the highest uh, the person who has rated the highest number of movies right so once you group by you order by count star so number of rows basically number of movies rated in a decreasing manner because you want the highest and in case there is a tie as we saw between daniel and monica right then you need to arrange it in the ascending order of the name right because that is how that is how you will be ensuring this lexicographically smaller username thing right and then obviously once it is arranged so for example for uh, Daniel it is going to have three for Monica it is going to have three and so on and then you only need to keep the first one right because lexicographically smaller name so you just limit this output to one right so let me just you know run this and see obviously this is not yet complete we still need to find the movie name but let's see if we are on the right track so yeah if you see Daniel Daniel is being returned right so the first row we have got this similarly we can get the frozen two as well right and union these two rows so what we can do is let's put this in parenthesis because we need to perform a union let's write union and then again do the same thing right so from this common table expression now we need to find out the movie which has the highest average rating in february of 2020 so from common table expression where we need to make sure that the created date is february of 2020 right so where date format so basically we are using the date format function to convert this date format into just year and month so that we can you know compare it with 2020-02 date format of the created at column and the format is should be year dash month right is equal to right is equal to february of 2020 so you only are interested in that right and then what we can do is we can group by the title that is the movie name 
right return the title right but order by order by we need what highest average right so order by average of the rating so for each group of the title that is each movie it is going to order by the average rating in a decreasing manner and in case there is a tie order by the title the name of the movie in increasing manner as we saw for you uh, movie id 2 and 3 right so for movie id 2 frozen 2 and zoker the rating was three and a half so you know it is going to rate, rate three and a half three and a half and avengers had three right so in decreasing manner and then three and a half three and a half where there is a tie then it will uh, sort by title in ascending order right so the first one or lexicographically smaller one comes first and similarly since we only want one output right one row so we just write limit one right okay now one thing that is remaining here is that if you see here the output column is aliased as results so you just you know alias the first one as results so that the name of the column is results right let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how you do it again kind of a medium difficulty question but actually if you follow the logic it is very simple like it is just you know group by and union nothing else right but if you want you know this question can also be done by using window functions so basically ranking and then assigning the rank using the row number function because you want the you know order by the average or the name or the you know count star and then get that rank one two three etc and then only keep those rows where the rank is equal to one right let me know how the solution will look like using that window function let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video